Hello, dear brothers and sisters in the NGLC family. The events of the last few days have taken us all by surprise. Even last Sunday, we did not realize how the next few days would unfold. So anyway, here we are at the beginning of a time where the normal way of doing things is not possible anymore. And the fear of coronavirus is waiting for us at every corner. We don't know how long this time will be, how the virus will spread in our country and in our community. We also don't know how things will be when it is all over and what the new normal will be. What we do know though, is that God is with us in this. There are many uncertain things right now and they may make us afraid, but we don't have to face that fear alone. God is with us. Especially in this season of Lent, we are constantly reminded that God is not a distant God, but a God that came to earth to be with us, to comfort us, to calm us, to hold us when we are afraid. Even long before the time of Jesus, the writers of the Psalms knew that their only hope lies in God. So let us hold on to the hope that we have and be encouraged by words from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. In our Lent devotion series, we have been looking at Psalm 23. And I think it is not coincidence that exactly in this week we have planned to meditate on verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The valley of the shadow of death. Isn't that precisely where we are going through right now? Yes, it is true. For those of us who are healthy, we will most likely come out the other end of this valley without a problem. But the shadow of death is real, even if our worry and fear might be for a loved one and not ourselves. Have you noticed something? The psalmist is very realistic here. The valley of the shadow of death will happen in one way or another for every one of us. The evil will be there and try to make us afraid. And crises like coronavirus make this more visible, more in your face. But then we must remember that in that valley, Jesus, the shepherd of our souls, is with us. He comforts us. He keeps us from danger. That doesn't mean that there will be no evil or suffering in this valley. But it does mean that Jesus is with us. And in a few weeks time when we celebrate Good Friday, we remember that he took our suffering, our fear, our shadow of death onto himself so that we do not have to suffer alone. That is the love of God. That is what we can hold on to in this time of uncertainty. We do not know exactly what the future will bring, but we do know that Jesus is going with us into that future. As we go into this future, let us remember the shepherd we are serving and the example that he sets us. Even if circumstances might force us to not meet together in one place for some time, let us remember we are God's flock. We belong to him. Let us reach out to each other via the phone or in smaller groups if that is possible. Let us not forget that God calls us to serve each other in our needs. And in this time, these needs may be very practical. If there are members who lose their income during this time, let us help each other to keep food on the table. If there is someone who is in self-quarantine, let us help them to get what they need. If someone should get the virus, let us help them however we can, without endangering ourselves, of course. 
Even if there is nothing physical that we can do, we can always pray. Remember, we are church because we belong to the body of Christ, not because we happen to meet in this building or any other particular building at any time. The body of Christ is wherever people do things in the name of Christ. On a practical level, council will be meeting this evening, that is Wednesday, to decide the way forward. We will inform you by whatever channel is available to us. Let us now turn to God. Lord Jesus Christ, we are fearful of what the future might hold. We fear for our loved ones who are in a high risk category. Protect them from this virus, and if they should get ill, help them to overcome the virus. Help us to remain calm and handle this situation in a responsible manner. We pray that the spread of the virus may be slowed down so that the doctors, nurses, and others in the medical system may be able to cope. We pray for strength for the doctors and everyone else who is caring for patients. Strengthen our trust in you, our shepherd, so that we can remain calm, whatever may come. We pray this in your precious name. Amen.